plentiful summer. What do you say, Rue? There's my garden up there. I got something really interesting in the mail this week. This. <laughs> right? Which I'm gonna open now. You can see that. It smells interesting. Kind of like herbal. Basically, I was like, what is this tumbleweed <laughs> that I got sent? And then I noticed the sticker here. It's a Rose of Jericho flower resurrection plant. Turns out it is a tumbleweed. This is native to the Middle East. And the reason why it's known as a resurrection plant is because, as you can see, this has been deprived of water for some time. That's why it's all brown. And it just closes itself up and then obviously it tumbles around um, in the desert with the wind. But the second that these little roots here are exposed to water again, it starts to revive itself. Apparently there's a lot of medicinal uses. People use it widely in the Middle East, various parts of Europe, and beyond as a traditional medicine to help with many health conditions. These include menstrual cramps, childbirth, arthritis pain, and metabolic and respiratory disorders such as diabetes and bronchitis. Despite the plant's many purported benefits, critics argue there's little research to back up these claims. The scientific name of it is Anestetica hierocuntica, also known as Jericho Rose, Resurrection Flower, Resurrection Fern, Resurrection Plant, Calf Merriam, Merriam's Flower, Hand of Maria, and Hand of Fatima. There is also a False Rose of Jericho, um, which is a different plant native to the Chihuahuan Desert in the United States and Mexico, but that's not the same plant. Okay, very important. When it's exposed to desert-like environments, it it uh, curls into a tiny dry ball, that's like a tumbleweed, and it hibernates to protect its flowers on the inside. And it does that until it receives water. This can be repeated, this process can be repeated by the same plant over and over and over again. So that's why it's known as the resurrection plant. There are cultures that consider it a symbol of good fortune, positive energy, renewal, and prosperity. So, why not just do it and do a cool time-lapse video? Special shout out to that friend of mine who sent this my way. Very excited and appreciate it. There you go. It's kind of amazing. It's green in the center. Um, it's It feels like a live plant. It doesn't feel so crispy anymore. It really has absorbed water from this dish and resurrected itself. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And then apparently this water that is in the dish can be used for you know blessing your home, um, it may have medicinal purposes as well, um, but I am not going to participate in those because I have not just myself to think about right now, I also have this baby. This has been a fun experiment with the Rose of Jericho. It's something that you guys can all order on Amazon. I know that because it came from Amazon. <laughs> Do your own little time lapse or enjoy the, the potential medicinal benefits and, and spiritual benefits of this incredible plant. You know, that's what it's all about is kind of experimenting and, and seeing how it goes. And, you know, I've really enjoyed this past year of putting videos out and hearing feedback from people that are saying, I never thought I could do this, but I actually can. I did it. I watched your video and I put the compost in and I planted some seeds and they grew. 
And um, that's exactly what happened to me when I first started. I was like, I just assumed that growing vegetables and plants was complicated and difficult and I shouldn't even try. But once I got started, it, that became really a ridiculous notion. So that's what I wanna encourage you guys to do is just experiment, have fun, see what works for you, what doesn't work for you. You know, someone asked recently, what kind of vegetables should I grow? The ones that you like to eat. <laughs> That's the whole point. Grow what you like to eat. Um, there is growth up in the garden next week. I will probably update you on that. As far as my health and, and what's going on with me, just a quick update, because last week I wasn't feeling so well. A lot of the symptoms have passed that I was experiencing. Must be in normal progress when you like go through pregnancy these things kind of come in and go out but i also like strained my groin which is that was the hardest thing because it would just it would flare up at any second even when i was sleeping there was no safe position so i started doing just some basic prenatal yoga stretches that were focused on the hips and i'm doing that daily it's only about 20 25 minutes through Moto Yoga. That's my studio here in town and they are doing a lot of virtual content. So there you go guys. Take care of yourself. Experiment. Have fun. Don't be too hard on yourself. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mwah. What's my husky rug doing? First lug, husky rug. Yeah, you. Looking for squirrels? There's always squirrels up here. Squirrels?